Welcome back to the channel. Today let's take a look at the One Leaf Commander NV400 Rifle Scope. The Commander NV400 is a 4 to 52 by 50 millimeter day or night capable optic. It has onboard photo and video capability, infrared night vision capability, and a host of other features we'll cover shortly. The NV400 comes in two configurations. Basically, you can purchase it with or without the optional laser rangefinder. That said, the NV400 retails for $499.99. If you include the rangefinder, it'll cost you $658. I personally chose to go with a slightly more expensive configuration, which included the rangefinder. The accessories that came with this optic included a set of 30mm Picatinny style rings, two eye cups, a long one and one a bit shorter, a Type-C charging cord, a mini HDMI cord for video playback on your smart TV or computer, a lens cleaning cloth, battery charger, the tools that it takes to assemble everything, and an additional battery cap, which we'll discuss more about later. Unlike a lot of users' manuals that come with different products, the one for the NV400 is well laid out and easy to understand. It'll help you navigate through all the features this optic has to offer. And take it from me, I suggest that you take some time to go through this manual. By the way, if you happen to purchase an NV400, I highly recommend going over to One Leaf's website and downloading the latest firmware update. Simply download the bin file and transfer it to the SD card. When you reinstall the SD card in the NV400 and power the unit up, it'll automatically update the firmware. It's been my experience that optics of this type require a bit of a learning curve to get the most out of them. Anyone experienced with smartphone or digital camera menus won't find it very difficult to set up the NV400 the way you want it. When operating in day mode, the light limiting cap does need to be snapped into place to restrict the amount of light entering the scope. Without it, too much light enters the lens and overexposes or blows out the images. The screw-on sunshade also helps reduce lens flares, the same way installing a sunshade on a conventional rifle scope works. When using the starlight or night mode, the light limiter can be simply folded out of the way to allow additional light to enter the lens. Just to be clear, starlight mode and night mode are quite different. Starlight mode utilizes Sony's CMOS sensor's backlit pixelization technology to enhance images without requiring an external illuminator. Night mode utilizes infrared technology and does require the use of an infrared illuminator. This illuminator has three power settings indicated by these lights. At full power, I was able to get about two and a half hours of continuous runtime. That said, I suggest carrying a couple of rechargeable batteries with you just in case. Since we're on the topic of batteries, Let's go over the NV400's power requirements. This optic has two internal batteries which appear to be non-user serviceable. A third battery is contained in this compartment. Unscrewing the cap will allow you to remove it for charging. I mentioned earlier in the video that the NV400 came with an additional battery cap. Well, one is for 50mm batteries and the other one is for 65mm batteries. But since the infrared illuminator also uses a 65mm battery, I have no clue why they did, didn't use 65mm batteries for both. Moving to the right hand side of the scope, removing this cap allows you to access the charging and HDMI ports. Here's where you'll also find the SD card slot. Speaking of the SD card, the NV400 came with a 64GB micro SD card. It's a U1 V10 rated card, which is plenty good enough for 1080p video at 30 frames a second. But since the NV400 is capable of 4K video at up to 120 frames a second, I decided to upgrade the SD card by installing a U3 V30 128GB SD card. That way I'm sure to get the best quality photos and videos this optic has to offer. Secondly, 4K video files, even at 30 frames a second, are quite large. At 60 to 120 frames per second, they're enormous. Increasing the storage capacity to 128GB just made sense. 
Fully charged the NV400 is advertised to have about an 8 hour runtime. I've yet to actually test this, but I will include that information when I eventually do a follow up review. Still photos can be taken by simply pressing the lower half of the record button. In the menu you can select from 8 megapixel all the way up to 40 megapixel photo resolution. The NV400 produces true 4K 3840 by 2160 ultra high definition video recordings. One of their competitors prominently displays 4K on the side of their optics, which I find to be misleading because it's only capable of 1080p video. Not knocking the features offered in this ATN optic, just stating a fact. The rangefinder is advertised to be able to range targets out to 1200 yards. When I tested the rangefinder on targets set at known distances, it appeared to be spot on. Well, enough waffling I suppose. Here are a few clips and still photos that I've been able to gather using the NV400. But before we start, let me assure the tenderhearted out there that no animals were harmed during the making of this video, as far as you know. Here's an infrared night vision photo taken of one of the local house pet eaters making his rounds. If your cat didn't come home last night, this guy probably knows something about it. These desert mule deer were more than happy to pose for me just long enough to snap a photo. When deer season opens, I hope to run into them again. Just after a storm rolled through the other day, these doves lined up for a video shoot. Okay, I said shoot, but I didn't actually shoot any of them. I swear I was just getting a little stock footage for this video, Your Honor. Using the onboard menu, you can change the reticle style and color. You can also choose between first and second focal plane operation. This clip helps demonstrate how that actually works. A picture is worth a thousand words, they say, so here we go. One of the things I really like about this optic is the one-shot sight in feature. This allows you to correct the bullet's point of impact after firing just a single round. Once aligned, future shots will hit exactly where aimed. You know, it's starting to dawn on me that there are just too many cool features this object is loaded with to cover it all in a single video. Therefore, let's consider this video to be an overview. Over the next month or so, I intend to put the NV400 through its paces, and then upload a follow-up review. So far, I really like the features that this NV400 has to offer. For those of you interested in purchasing one of these, I'll leave a link below to One Leaf's website down below. So until next time, practice often, shoot straight, and thanks for stopping by.